Hey everyone, today I want to go over using Premiere on the iMac 27 inch. This is the base model with the i5 um, and so this is this is basically how I use the iMac and why I purchased it and to really show off how powerful this machine is and basically how well it functions as an editing computer. Okay so for the beginning of this I'm going to be using ScreenFlow to record my desktop as well as through my eyesight and microphone. So the first thing I did was copy all my media off of my SD card. Um, it's just a straight copy and paste into a folder, into a hard drive on my iMac. And the first thing I want to do is transcode all my media um, to something that's it's, it's lossless, so that when I make changes in Premiere, I don't have any artifacts or anything like that. And to do so, I use MPEG Stream Clip. So let's get started. If I could type and so this is mpeg stream clip i basically i want to copy my video uh, into the folder and then i want to set my in and out points so that's the out point and let's set that as the in point so then I just do file export to QuickTime, ProRes 422HQ, turn the quality all the way up, hit make movie, and then I'm going to want to put it in the video, and then I do take one ProRes. This is all in real time, so you can see just how fast it is converting this to a lossless format. taking a little bit of a performance hit running ScreenFlow, but not enough to uh, make any significant time uh, changes to encoding. Okay, so that's done and I've got my clip. Now I'm going to open up Premiere. and I'm gonna select my project and there it is I'm going to drag my file in and then select the clip set my import endpoint and then my out point. Just need to drag it into the timeline. Hey everyone, today I want to go over using... I need to change my audio level, I need to bring it down a bit, I was pretty loud. Let's blow that up a bit. And I try to keep my audio levels around negative 12, that way if it's not loud enough you have to turn up your volume I hate when I watch a video and they haven't done any audio correction and you play the video and it's so loud and it scares the crap out of you uh, this way you have to you know turn your volume up make sure it's at the right setting and you're good to go okay so that looks good now I shot this with a profile that is not color corrected or color graded so let's go ahead and do that so let me go in here and I use colorista to do all of my color grading and color correcting things I didn't shoot a uh, white black and gray card on this so I'm just gonna kinda have to uh, fudge with it and get it to what I want. Um, the first thing I usually do is I come in here and I turn up the con contrast. I look at my curves and then I look at the contrast and I bump it up just a bit. And then I'm going to go down here and check my my skin tones and see if my skin tones are correct. And you can see they're not because this shows a mesh on your face when your skin tones are uh, right around the correct correct time you know amount. So I'm going to go into the three-way and see if I can bring the 
bring the flesh tones back in a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I'm not not really worried about how it's, you know, how it's really turning out. I just like to bump up the contrast and then uh, with the primary I like to increase the pop. Uh, pop is a, it's, it's kind of like a, the sharpness, it, it turns up the sharpness a bit. So let me go to 100% so you can see what it looks like and I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on. You can see there is a difference. Why I purchased it and to really show off. Now it's not going to play in 100% real time but it does play pretty close. So this is doing all the color correcting frame by frame and I'm able to play it almost at full frame rate. So you can get a pretty good idea of what your your end footage is going to look like. Um, and so on the left you can see what it looked like before, on the right after. Um, so this is basically how I do my color correcting and my color grading and you know simple editing and whatnot uh, on the iMac. And there's really not that much time spent rendering. I'm going to go ahead and render this out. And you can see just you know how fast it is. Uh, I've had clips that are just really long and I've gone through and rendered them and it, it doesn't take long at all. Um, so once I get finished with this, once, once this render is complete, I'm going to play it back and you can see uh, the full color graded version. And then we're going to go ahead and export this clip and you can see just how fast that is. Again, this is all in real time. I'm not speeding anything up. <clears throat> Almost done. There it goes. So now it's going to play back in real time because it's it's been rendered. Okay, so let's go ahead and export this. So I want to do. I usually do HD, HDTV uh, 24 high quality. It's a very high quality format. And I'm going to want to make sure I save it in the correct place. I'm going to call it iMac.mp4. And I'm going to turn the bitrate down because it's, it's Blu ray level. YouTube doesn't show Blu ray level. So I usually bump it down to around 16, 15. Uh, and you can see the estimated file size is 43 uh, megabytes. So let's go ahead and export it. And you can see, you know, just how fast the iMac is. It's able to, to really push through this uh, export. And then once this is complete, I'm going to attach the clip you're watching right now to the end of this, and you're going to see the whole YouTube video. Almost there. Okay, just finished. Here's the file. Go ahead and open it up. Hey everyone, today I want to and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this clip that you're watching to the end of the video and Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or shoot me a message.